Welcome everybody, it, this is Lori Carney and we are going to do a 60 minute gentle yoga class today. Um, for props, if you have a blanket or a towel, it may be more comfortable for when you are in child's pose during the class and when we are on our bottoms. Um, if you have a block or two, we're not doing anything in particular with blocks today, but it's always helpful to have those props for modifications, sometimes to take the twists and different things further, and sometimes just to aid in that. So let's start, um, come to the back of your mats. And we do the class in silence without music um, to help those who maybe have some issues with hearing um, so that you can just hear my voice. So I invite you to play any music that you would like at your own house. Um, for those of you that are on live with me today, you have the option to have your video on or off. Um, and I'm going to sometimes ask you thumbs up or thumbs down and how you are doing. So we're going to come to the back of our mats now. And bring your knees out nice and wide. If you have a towel or a blanket, you can put it between your legs and maybe your big toes touch behind you. And then your hips come down to the blanket or towards your heels. Now walk your hands up as far to the front of your mat as it feels comfortable. And then your block can either go underneath to put your head on your block, or maybe your head goes all the way down to your mat. And just start to breathe here in center. This next 60 minutes is it's all about you. It's all about you taking care of yourself, self-love. During this time of uncertainty, we have extra stress, extra emotions that sometimes are more roller coaster emotions. And it's important for us to give ourselves care and to fill our cups and to take time to just breathe. And so I just want you to start to notice your breath here. Just notice the inhales and the exhales. Remember, maybe every exhale, your hips sink down just a little bit closer towards your heels. You can sway a little bit side to side. Child's pose is our home base for class. It is the place that you're giving yourself permission to just be respecting where you are today. So at any time that you want to take a break, um, come and chill out and hang out in child pose. So now we're going to start to elongate our breath here. So together, inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. One more time, just like that nice big inhale. Open mouth, exhale. And now seal the mouth and inhale through the nose. And exhale through the nose. Coming in with our ujjayi pranayama breath. Keeping the mouth closed to create heat within our body. At any time you feel overheated, open up the mouth to let that heat release. And now on your next inhale, just reach your fingers a little bit closer towards the front of your mat. And now walk your hands over towards your right side. Your hands can be one on top of each other, or they can be side by side. Bring your left hip over to the left a little bit more. We're stretching through that left side body here. Breathing, sinking the hips down. Every inhale, lengthen through those fingertips. And every exhale, sink down a little bit deeper. Inhale, walk your hands back to center. Exhale here. Inhale to lengthen. And then exhale, walk your hands over to the left side. Again, see what feels best for you if you like your hands side by side or one on top of the other. And then sink your hips down a little bit more. That right hip may want to pop up. So just bring it over to the right an inch or two more. 
every time we inhale, feel that extension of your fingers going closer towards the top of your mat. And as you exhale, sink your hips down more. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, release. And now walk your hands back to center. Coming up into a tabletop pose. So just roll forward here. Our knees are underneath our hips and our hands are underneath the shoulders here. Engage the core, Uddiyana Bandha. That means the belly button is going towards the spine. Coming into a cat and cow. Inhale, a neutral spine. And exhale for cat. Push your mat away from you. Your feet are pressing into your mat as well as your hands. Inhale for cow pose. Belly dips down, chest comes up, head comes up. Exhale for cat pose. Round the spine. Bring that belly button up towards the spine. Round it. And inhale for cow pose. Belly dips down. Really bring that bottom up towards the sky and look up. One more set here. Exhale, make this as big as you can make it, rounding the spine. Bring your base gaze towards your belly button. And inhale for cow pose. Really arch the back here. Gaze is up. Coming into cat cow circles here or whatever feels best for you to warm up your spine. So if you like to do the cat cow circles, come into cat. And now bring your side body to the left. As you inhale, come down for cow, and then your body over to the right side and up to cat. I invite you to close your eyes here and just tune into what your body is telling you today. Are you feeling stiff? Have you been sitting more of the day? Does your body feel like it needs more stretching because you have been moving more? And focus in on that breath. When you come up for that cat, when you're rounding the spine, we're exhaling. And then when you dip the belly down, we're inhaling. And just one more circle in this direction, and then we're going to switch it to the other way. And then switching the other way, now going towards the right side. Bring your body over and coming up. But this is your free time. Whatever movements feel good to you here. Maybe you're moving your shoulders more. Maybe you're moving your hips more. What do you need? Listen to our body. So often our body is speaking to us, sometimes kindly, sometimes it's screaming with pain. And we need to focus in and listen and see what can we do. And just one more round circle here. Coming back up into a neutral spine. We're going to be coming in to thread the needle next. So bring your right hand up towards the sky. Make a fist and then just rotate the wrist one direction and then the other direction. And now do two big circles with your hand forward. Just helping with that range of motion and then two big circles backwards. And then when you're done, inhale that right hand up as high as you can go. And as you exhale, bring the right hand underneath your body. It's literally going underneath the right shoulder, your right ear are on your mat. The left hand can stay on the mat and it can push away to help intensify this twist. Or you have a few options. You can tense your fingers towards the front of the mat. You can interlace your fingers together and then push those fingers away from you. Or you can take the left hand and bind it around your back, maybe even grabbing that right leg. Right leg. Wherever you are, on the inhale, lengthen the top of the head close to the front of the mat. And on the exhale, twist even further. One more breath here, inhale up, and exhale, release. And now everybody return the left hand to the mat for support. As you inhale that right hand up nice and high, 
and exhale, lowering back down. Coming on to the other side, inhale your left hand up nice and high, and then make a fist here and rotate the wrist one direction, and then the other direction. We're going to do two big circles going forward. So one, two, and then two circles going back. And when you're done, inhale that left hand up nice and high. And then exhale, thread the needle. Left hand goes underneath your chest. So the left shoulder is on the ground, left ear is on the ground. And you can press against your mat with that right hand. Or again, we have those three options. We can tense the fingers up front, interlace the fingers and push away from your body, or bind that right hand around you. Wherever you are, feel the lengthening on the inhales. And on the exhale, we are helping your body to release and twist more. Twists are so important to help release the toxins that are in our body to be released. It's important to drink lots of water after class to release those toxins. And one more breath here. And then when you're done, bring your right hand back to the mat for support. Inhale that left hand up nice and high. And then exhale, lowering down. So we're going to come into a spinal balance. And there's lots of different variations for levels here. So definitely listen to what you need today. We're going to first start out with the left leg. And just put the toes on your mat working on the range of motion in our toes and in our ankles. So just make some circles here, one direction and then the other direction. And you can hold it here too to get a stretch in your calf muscle. I know I've been walking a lot more. I feel it in the calf muscles. And then when you are ready, bring that left leg up. Almost like you're pressing that foot against the back wall. The toes are facing down and the left hip comes down. Engage the core, bring the belly button up. Inhale here and exhale. You can stay right here. If you would like a little bit more challenge, you can extend the right hand out as well. I always like to imagine like we have a green juice on the back. We don't want to spill it. Advanced option here, bring the palm down to the ground and bring your leg and your hand out to the side. Maybe you just have the arm or the leg up. Coming back to center. Two more times here. Exhale, coming out. And inhale, center. Last time, exhale, widen out. Inhale, back to center. And coming, bringing the hand and the leg down, coming back for our child's pose here. Bring the big toes together, sink your hips down, walk your hands out. Again, your forehead can be on a block. You can put your hands down and have the forehead on your hands. Just breathe here. One more breath. And inhale, coming back up into our tabletop pose. And now bringing the right toes out. Again, just making some movement here for the toes and your ankle. Just circle it around. Kind of dance in the foot here a little bit. Get a little calf stretch. Push that heel towards the back of your mat. And then when you feel ready, bring that right foot up. It's nice and strong. We are engaging the quads. We're engaging the hamstrings, the glutes, pressing that foot against the back wall. Engage that core belly button going up into the spine. Option to always stay right here, or you can extend the left hand up. And maybe play around. Maybe you just want to do the hand and not the leg here. Option again to stay here in spinal balance. I know I can definitely feel it here. If you would like to take a little bit more, bring the palm of your left hand down towards your mat. And then as you exhale, widen out the hand and the leg to the side. Inhale back to center. We only have two more here. Exhale to the side. 
Inhale, back to center. Last time, exhale to the side. Inhale, center. And bring that left palm down to the ground and the right knee. Just a quick child's pose here, just one full breath. Coming in for that inhale. And exhale. As we come back up, we're going to come in to stand onto our knees for camel pose. So just bring your hands like we're in jean pockets here. And we want to keep the hips forward here. So we'll bring the elbows together towards the back. Inhale, gaze is up towards your ceiling, and maybe you stay right here. If you can if you feel like you can go more, press your hands into your back and let the hips go forward. Maybe your gaze goes up towards the ceiling. Nice and gentle here, little baby back bend. And then exhale, come down, sit on your heels. Take an inhale. And exhale. Now just go into one hip or the other to prepare for boat pose. Have both feet out in front of you. Your hands are underneath your thighs. And just grab onto those thighs and then lean back. We're bringing the shoulders up and then round and bring them back. So we're in this V-sit. This is boat pose. So there's lots of different options here. Stay here. Maybe you point the toes. Another option, bring the right leg up and down. Left leg up and down. Beautiful, continue with that. Or maybe you bring both legs up. Another option, bring the hands up to the side. I know every day is a different, a new day. And so some days we feel stronger, some days we wanna have more compassion to be more restorative in our practice. So wherever you are, we're just here for three more breaths. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. We are strong. We got this last breath. Now cross at your ankles. We're gonna be doing some things in easy seated pose. So if it feels more comfortable, you can bring your blanket or your towel behind you to sit on that, or you can sit on a block, or you can have your legs out or to the side, whatever feels best in your body. And so inhale, bring the hands up, bring the palms together, and exhale the heart center. One more time, just like that. Inhale up, palms together, and exhale the heart center. Adding on here, interlace your fingers together. Elbows come up nice and wide at the heart here. And then exhale, push the palms towards the front of your room. Arch your back, round the back. Inhale, gaze goes up as your hands go up. Lengthen through your spine. And exhale, float the hands back down. One more time, just like that. Inhale up. Exhale, bring your palms together and bring them to heart center. Inhale, interlace the fingers. And then exhale, push the hands away, round your spine. Inhale, lengthen the spine as you reach your hands up. And exhale, bring the hands behind your bottom. Your hands can be tented here or flat on the ground. Inhale up and exhale. Bring the shoulder blades together, chest is nice and proud and gaze goes up. Breathe here. You can stay here for one more breath. If you'd like to take a little bit further, maybe you lift your hips up and your gaze goes back. And coming back to center. Coming up again, inhale up. And now bring your right hand down to your side. Your left hand goes up and over, holding here this time. Open up your heart to the ceiling here. The left shoulder goes back. 
Then now cartwheel over to the other side, left hand down, right hand up and over. Keep both hips grounded. Again, open up here, bringing that shoulder back. And again, bring both hands to your side. And this time, just cross your feet the other direction here. Coming in that first option, just lift your chest up, shoulder blades together, gaze goes up. Exhale down. If you would like to lift the hips, inhale, lift the hips up. Maybe your gaze goes back. And exhale, coming back down. Coming into a little neck stretch here. So just start off with either your hands at your knees or you can have your hands tented to your sides. So inhale, nice tall spine, engage the core, and exhale, bring the right ear to the right shoulder. You can stay here. If you would like a little bit more, take the right hand and just place it on top of the head, nice and gentle. You can stay here or take that left hand and push it away. And you can do three circles forward. You can do big or small. And just hold it in a spot, feeling that stretch, going all the way from the fingers through the neck. And I'll do you some circles backwards. And again, holding here. And bring both hands back to the mat. And roll your chin down to your chest. Hold here. If it feels comfortable, inhale and bring your gaze up towards your ceiling and go as far back as it feels good for you. And then back to center. Coming on to the other side, bring your left ear towards your left shoulder. Option for the left hand to rest on top of your head, right above the ear. I can feel this stretch here. So you can stay here. If you would like a little bit more, flex the hand and you pushing it away from your body. Option to do some circles going forward. And just holding it here. Feeling that stretch, sending your breath to these parts of tension. And then bringing the circles backwards. And holding the stretch here. Release both hands down to the ground. And again, nice and slow, roll your chin down towards your chest. And then inhale, come up to center. Bring your gaze over to your right shoulder. So almost like we're trying to peek behind your shoulders here while keeping both sh shoulders forward. You know, nice and slow, just going to the other side over the left shoulder. Peeking over, what's going on there? Coming back to center. If you would like to move your legs in any other position, feel free to do so. We're going to be coming into an easy seated twist next. So inhale, coming up. And exhale, bring your left hand either to your left leg or to your right leg. And then your right hand goes behind your back. Inhale, nice tall spine. And then exhale and twist. If your left hand is on your left leg and you want more, just see what it feels like to move it over. Inhale, feel the breath traveling to the spine. And then as you exhale, feel the breath helping you twist further behind your shoulder we're looking. Last breath here, inhale to lengthen. And exhale and twist. Releasing forward, going on the other side. At any time, I always feel free to move up your legs, put a blanket underneath, whatever feels most comfortable to you. Inhale up. Right hand can be on the right leg or it can cross over. Left hand is going to go behind you. Your gaze is behind you. Inhale. Feel the spine go nice and tall. And then exhale, twist. Gaze is behind you. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. 
exhale, use your breath to help you twist further, helping get rid of these toxins here. One last breath here. And exhale and twist. Coming back to center. Just coming into some shoulder shrugs before we get going to stand up. So inhale the shoulders up, and then exhale, go forward with the shoulders. Two more times just like that. Inhale back and up and bring it forward. One more time this awkward way. And now bring the shoulders up and then round them and go backwards. Inhale up and exhale back. Last time, as big as you can make it, inhale up and exhale back. Good, and just kind of wiggle out your arms here a little bit. Now coming forward into our tabletop pose, just go forward. The knees again are underneath the hip. Maybe you want to move anything out of your way. Coming into our first down dog. So curl your toes under, lift your knees up, and now press your hips up to the sky. Our fingers are spread nice and wide. They are hip distance. And we're pressing into the L's of both the hands. The, the belly button is going up towards the spine. And really think about the hips trying to get up as high as possible. The heels are guided down towards the mat. They do not need to be touching there. And then together now, inhale up on your tippy toes, and then send your heels to the back right corner of your mat. Gaze can go underneath the right shoulder. Inhale up on tippy toes, and exhale back to the left corner of the mat. Inhale up on the tippy toes, and then send them down. Inhale, look at the top of your mat, and with a nice deep bend in your knees, walk your feet up to ragdoll pose. So ragdoll pose, our feet are a little bit more than hip distance apart, so you can put two fists here. If you have a block or a Lysol container or anything, you can put that in front of you. Your hands are just hanging here. You have some options. You can have your hands into each elbow and just sway side to side or figure eight, or your hands can hang heavy, or you can interlace your fingers behind your neck and have your elbows out. Just see what feels best in your body today. Again, keep a nice bend in the knees here. Put the pressure onto the ball mounts of your feet. We have nothing going on with the head or the neck, so just shake your head yes and no. And then if you have your hands in your lace, just going the opposite grip in the opposite direction here. And then together, release your hands down to the ground. And coming up nice and slow to stand, one vertebra at a time, bend your knees, engage the legs here. Coming up nice and slow, spine is rounded. Hands are just hanging heavy. And then as you come in, come up to stand here, if you adjust, if you want to take a drink of water, feel free to do so. We're going to be coming into mountain pose. So your feet are about hip distance apart. And we're grounding in all four corners of both feet. Lift up on your kneecaps, and that helps to engage the quads and your hamstrings. Glutes are engaged. Belly button is going in. We're engaging that entire core. And now bring the shoulders up. Exhale, relax them back. Fingers are spread wide to your side. Gaze is up probably towards the corner of where your wall and your ceiling meet. We are engaging everything here as we are in mountain pose. And together, inhale, bring the hands up. If you would like more for your hands, bring the pinkies in towards each other to engage the arms. Inhale here, and exhale, twist to the right. Left hand is forward, the right hand can be to your side, or maybe it goes back. The hips are staying forward. If it feels good, maybe you bring your gaze to that back right hand. 
inhale up, exhale, twist towards the left. That left hip is gonna wanna jump back, so keep it forward. Inhale up, exhale, baby back bend, cactus the arms, chest goes up, gaze goes up. Always option to bring your hands to your back. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, hinge at your hips, coming into that forward fold. One more time here, rolling up nice and slow. When your hands are by your side, just continue to bring them up, mountain pose, and exhale to the right side for a twist. Inhale up, exhale to the left side. Inhale up, exhale baby back bend, gaze is up, nice and gentle here. Inhale, reach your hands up high. Exhale, forward fold, hands at heart center or swan dive forward. Listen here, adding on. Inhale, halfway lift, hold here. Our hands are either on our shins or on our thighs. And we're pressing the hands against the thighs. Belly button is engaged, it's going up towards the spine. Press the hands, we have a slight tuck to our chin here. So we're in one long line in our spine from the tailbone to the crown of the head. Exhale, listen here, forward fold. Bring the left knee back behind you for low lunge. You may wanna grab your ankle, move around a little bit. Check to see that your feet are in two different lanes here. Hands are on the mat, or you can have them on two different blocks here. Coming into crescent moon, bring the left knee down to the ground. Bring your hands up, you can walk them up onto the leg. You can stay here with the hands on the leg or bring them up. Maybe you inch your front toe out. Maybe you can even look and see, is your front knee over that front ankle? And now cactus your arms here. And if it feels comfortable, we're going to twist to the right side. So just twisting to the right and seeing how it feels in your body to go to that side. Breathing here. Inhale, crescent moon, hands come up. Exhale, settle in. One more breath here, inhale. And exhale. Coming into high lunge. So lots of different ways you can come into this. Press your back toe up. And then you can engage your legs and your arms and just simply come up, or maybe you walk your way up. Hands are up. Feet are also in two different lanes here. Front knee is over that front ankle. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Coming out into your stance, the front foot is facing towards the front of your mat. Your back foot is either parallel or maybe your toes come up a little bit up towards your upper left hand corner. The front knee is jutting over that ankle. Your hands can stay on your hips here, one long line in the vertebrae, or if it feels comfortable, extend your hands out. Your gaze can go over that middle finger of the right hand. We're gonna be flowing here. Inhale, straighten the hands up. Option to not do the hands or not do the legs. This is your class. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, straighten the leg, bring the arms up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, straighten the leg, bring the hands up. Exhale, warrior two. Listen here. Inhale, reverse warrior. Flip your front palm up to the sky. Bring the right hand up. Left hand is really just kind of hanging out here. Recommit to that bend in that front leg. Reach to that side body. And then exhale, modify side angle. The right forearm is on that front leg, beautiful. Left hand is going up, or the left hand can go 
over. See what feels best for you. When we're in all these warrior poses, think about the inner thighs are squeezing towards each other. We're bringing that, that um, pressure to the left side of that left foot. And now we're gonna flow here. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle. If your legs are really doing a crazy thing here, just do it all with straight legs. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle. Listen here. Inhale, star pose. Toes out, heels in. Hands are out nice and wide. Exhale, horse pose. Bend the knees. Sink down nice and low. This first time, we're going to bring the hands to the inner thighs for a twist. Inhale, spine is straight. And exhale, left shoulder twist down. Inhale up. Exhale, right shoulder down. Inhale up. One more set. You guys look beautiful. Inhale, star pose. Option to stay here. We're going to flow with horse pose. Exhale, horse. Hands to heart center. Bend the knees. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, coming down for horse. Last time. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, horse. Inhale, star pose. Listen here. Bring your hands to the heart to your hips and come to the top of your mat. If you want to take a drink of water, feel free to do that. How's everybody doing? Thumbs up, thumbs down. All right, I'm seeing some. Okay, good. Thank you. <laughs> I love that there's some thumbs up with lots of enthusiasm. So coming back to mountain pose, hands to the sides, inhale up, exhale forward fold, hands to heart center or to the um, swan dive. Inhale, halfway lift, spine is nice and straight. Exhale, this time bring the right leg behind you, low lunge. Again, maybe you take your left hand and you just help your leg up here, whatever needs to be done. The feet are in two different lanes, just like cross country skis, hands on the mat or on two blocks. Coming into crescent moon, bring the right knee down to the ground, and then just walk your way up here, having your hands on your front side. Maybe that left toe just kind of comes out a little bit more here, always keeping that left knee over the ankle. Breathe here, some options. You can stay right here. You can have blocks into your side. If you would like to go further, inhale the hands up for crescent moon. Then bring your hands out to the goal post. And then exhale, twist towards your left. Inhale, coming back to crescent moon. And exhale, we're going to come into crescent lunge. So again, you can curl your back toes, engage your stomach, engage your legs, and come up however else you want to get up. You can use your blocks. Bend that front knee. Back leg can be bent. We want to keep the hips forward, and we all have such different bodies, so it's going to look different on every body here. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And then exhale, warrior two. So again, widen out your stance here. Left toes are forward, right toes are parallel, or just a little bit up towards the left-hand corner. Your hands can be on your spine. And notice I'm not leaning forward here. The spine is in one long line. Engage the core, Uddiyanda Bandha, for all of these warrior poses. Squeeze the mat together. If you would like, use your hands and bring them up to a T. Inhale. Exhale, sink lower. We're gonna flow here. Inhale, bring the hands up and straighten your left leg. Exhale, coming down. Inhale, up. 
exhale down. One more time here, inhale up. Exhale down, beautiful. Listen here, adding on, flip the front palm up. Inhale, reverse warrior, lift that left arm up. Gaze can be out or up. Exhale, side angle, modified. Left arm onto the left thigh, right hand up or over, stretching through that side body. Again, squeezing those legs together. Gaze can be up or out, flowing here now. Inhale, reverse warrior, left hand up, right hand down. Exhale, side angle. You go at what speed feels good to you. Maybe you're going faster, maybe you're going slower. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle. Listen here. Inhale, star pose, toes out, heels in. Exhale, horse pose. Just doing horse, no twist this, this side. Inhale, up. Exhale, horse. One more time, inhale up, exhale horse, beautiful. Inhale, bring the hands up and then bring them to your hips and meet at the top of the mat. We're gonna be coming into some balance poses for today next. So if you would like to take a drink of water before we do that, feel free to do that. We're gonna first come into star pose. And if you have a wall or a chair next to you, uh, we're gonna start off with having the left hand on the wall, and we're gonna bring the right foot out to the side. So you can just do it, your hands on your waist as well. Lots of different options. If you would like to do the hands, bring the right hand up and the left hand out to the side. And you can play around with different, there's different kinds of stars that you can make. Flex the right foot, engage the core, find a drishti to stare at. We're just here for three, release in two, and one, bring both hands up, bring your palms together, and exhale the heart center. Coming on to the other side, right hand up against a wall, or we're gonna start with both hands on our waist, ground down through your right foot, and then the left foot's going out to the side. We're flexing it. You can stay here. If you would like to do the arms, maybe you do one arm or both. Left hand up, right hand out to the side. Engaging that the whole entire leg. Find that spot to stare at that's not moving. So it's not good to look at me right now. And we're just here for three. Release in two. And one, releasing down. And just wiggle yourself out a little bit. We're gonna be coming into a modified dancer next. So inhale the right hand up. And now this time we're gonna bend the right leg. So it's just gonna be bent there. Your right hand can be on your waist or maybe you grab for your back foot. And we're just holding here. The left hand can go against a wall or can go against a chair for any modification. Again, I always want to make sure our entire body is engaged, especially the core when we're balancing. We're here for three, release in two, and one. Bring that down and wiggle it out. Coming on to the other side, inhale the right hand up. Left hand can be on the hip. And this time we're gonna bend the left leg. So you can stay right here or you can grab the foot. I feel like it's easier almost to grab the foot for balance, but you see what's best in your body here. Find something nice to look at. And sometimes it's nice to play around to see what is it like when I engage my core and when I don't? What is the difference? We're just here for three. 
release in two and one. Bring it back down and just wiggle out, do a little dance here. We're gonna be coming back down now. So inhale, nice and high with your hands. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, nice tall spine. Exhale, forward fold. Listen here, we're coming into plank pose or modified plank. So plank pose, we are all up off the ground except for the toes and the hands. Modified, we're gonna bring the knees down. We're coming all the way down to the ground. So go as slow as you wanna take it, all the way down. Lift the toes so that the feet are firmly pressing into the mat so much that your kneecaps are off the ground, preparing for cobra pose. Hands are wide underneath the shoulders. And then together, inhale, lift your shoulders up. Holding here with little to no weight in the hands. If they are on, the palms are pressing back towards your feet. One more breath. Exhale for crocodile. Bring both hands underneath your head, forehead onto the hands. Big toes touch, and then you just bring the heels out and breathe here. This is life, right? We work hard, then we relax. And now bring your hands underneath you, pushing up into a tabletop pose. And then come to your left or your right hip. And then bring your, your toes around, coming into a bound angle. So your feet, the soles of the feet are touching each other, the knees are out. And just play around with what feels best for you and how, how it feels in your body. Your hands can be on your legs. Inhale, nice tall spine. And then exhale, option to round your spine and bring it towards your feet, or option to straighten the spine and then just walk your hands out. And when it feels like you can't go anymore, that's when you hold it. So continue to breathe here. And then just start slowly walking yourself back. Good. Now bring the right leg out to the side. Your left knee stays bent and that foot is going in towards your right leg. Square off your chest over the right leg. Inhale, both hands up. And then exhale, just lean over that right leg. Maybe your hands are on your leg, your ankle, your foot. Um, you can use a strap, a scarf, a belt, anything like that as well. Every time we inhale, think about the crown of the head getting closer towards the toes. And then every exhale, just hinging a little bit further down. And then inhale, coming back up. And just going to the other side now, straightening the left leg, bending the right knee. The right sole of the foot is going in towards that left inner thigh. Squaring off your chest here. Inhaling the hands up high. And then exhale, hinge over. And sometimes I like to use a strap because I feel like I can get more of a stretch. So it's always nice to have a strap alongside you for a class. But you could be a kitchen towel, a belt, could even be like a long sleeve, sleeve shirt, knit shirt, whatever you have. Coming back up to center. Coming into staff pose next. Straighten both legs out in front of you and you can have just like a slight bend here. Feet are flexed. Inhale, bring the hands up. And then exhale, hinge over. Again, your hands can go on the ground, they can go on your legs, on your feet, you can use a strap, lots of different options here. Every time you exhale, just feel maybe a little bit more of a release coming down. And then together, inhale up. We're gonna come down to our backs now. If it feels good in your back, 
bring your hands out in front of you, palms are up, and just lower all the way down to the ground. Preparing for bridge pose, your hands are on your side, palms are down, bring your uh, knees up and see so your feet are flat on the ground just at, by your bottom. And you can stay right here. If you would like a more active bridge pose, inhale, lift your hips up and we're holding here. Your chest comes up and then your chin comes away from your chest. Lift your hips up a little bit higher. Exhale, lowering down. We're gonna do that one more time. Inhale, lift the hips up. Pressing down with your feet and your hands into your mat. Breathing here, our nice strong bodies. Exhale, lowering down. Now just widen your feet out just an inch or two on both sides and bring your knees together for fallen bridge. And just breathe here. Happy baby is next. So bring your knees up and then widen the knees out. Your hands can go into the inset of your legs, your calves, or maybe they reach the soles of your feet and have your tailbone planted on your mat and then just sway side to side here. Make it feel good. If you wanna play around, maybe you wanna straighten one leg, bend one leg, see what feels good in your body. And of course, bring the sides of your mouth up into a nice big smile to be a happy baby. Coming into wind relieving pose next. Straighten your left leg long, your right knee is bent, and your hands are interlaced around the right calf. Bring that, your right knee into your right shoulder. Your foot can be flexed if you would like. The left leg can stay on the ground, or for more active, you can have it off the ground. Inhale, and exhale, squeeze more. Preparing for supine twist, bring your right hand out to a T. Let the left hand help your right leg up and over. Your knee does not need to be touching the ground. The right hip is attempting to step on top of the left hip and your gaze can be up or if it feels comfortable, it can be over the right hand. Let gravity do its work here and surrender. I think the word surrender is important at this time during the quarantine when there's so much that's outside of our control that sometimes we just have to surrender to what is happening around us and think about what can we control? What are the decisions that we can solve, or we can make? Inhale, coming back up to center. And then switching the legs here, now the right leg goes long and the left knee comes in towards that left armpit, hands wrapped around the shin, squeezing it in. Again, if you would like it a little bit more active, you can flex the left foot, and then that right foot can flex as well, knee off the ground. See what feels best here. And then take a nice big inhale, and exhale. Bring your left hand out to a T, and the right hand can help that left leg up and over. And maybe for some of you, you may need to adjust your bottom hip to try to have them stack more. Just be gentle with how you move your body. Your gaze can be up or out towards the left hand. Whenever we feel that we want to control the uncontrollable, we can write down in a worry journal or decide to worry for 10 minutes and then say, I am done now. I am done worrying for the day. Because we think that worrying is necessary, but there is no point to it. It just takes away the peace of the present moment. And inhale, coming back up. And now come into a tight little ball here. So bring your knees up into your face and then your knee into towards your forehead and 
squeeze, nice tight ball. Take the biggest inhale you have and clasp. And then exhale, Shavasana, corpse pose. Come down to your mat. Your legs can be out long. If it is more comfortable with your back, maybe you bend your knees. Maybe your knees fall in for fallen bridge. See what feels best for you for your resting pose. Maybe just bring one shoulder and then the other underneath to lift your heart a little bit more. You're not only stilling the body, you're stilling the thoughts. And it's normal for thoughts to come. We don't need to judge ourselves. Just let them float away. Every time we practice yoga, we are practicing being mindful, being in the moment. And the more we teach our brain that that's where we want to go, the more we are going to be in that present moment where peace and happiness reside. Whenever you find yourself thinking about the future or the past, just bring it back to your breath. Bring it back to the here and the now. Welcome to stay in Shavasana for as long as it serves you for today. If you do need to get going in your day, you start wiggling your toes, and wiggling your fingers. Bring your hands overhead. We're gonna come into a nice big morning stretch. So inhale, lengthen from the fingers and the toes. And open up, exhale. Now bend your knees. Come into a fetal position at your left or your right side. So your knees fall to your side. Use your arm as a pillow. And shower yourself with gratitude that you showed up today. You took care of yourself. All of these acts are valuable. We have so many things that we can do with our time and practicing yoga to help us mind, body, and soul is a valuable use of time. And now make your way up into an easy seated pose. And you can cross your legs or have them straight, whatever feels comfortable to you. Your hands onto your knees. And then together, inhale the hands up. Bring your palms together and lower your thumbs to your forehead, your third eye of intuition, to remind us of kind and loving thoughts. Lower the thumbs to the mouth for kind and loving words, and lower the thumbs to the heart, so we always may see the love in ourselves and in each other. The light and the teacher and the student in me respects and honors the light and the teacher and the student in each one of you. I thank you so much for showing up live and for watching the recording later. It is always my honor to be able to guide you on your yoga practice. We close the class with a bow and say namaste. Thank you all. I will turn off the, the mute and turn off the recording here.